If you look somebody in the eyes and go, I love you, I am not cheating on you. And then she goes and put that pecker on something else. Killer. Okay. Oh, Wait, whoa. I'm a suburban. <laughs> I'm a suburban dude. Uh, this female right here said something that all you other females would be scared to say, but honestly, deep down in your inner uterus lining, understand and you know. Shit that females are going to hate me for saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Part one. The same way that men go through their kind of hoe phase, like their mm. cheating phase, where they just don't know how to be faithful. Like y'all know what I'm talking about. That like that little phase that they go through normally when they're young, but some but some of y'all old motherfuckers go through it too. I don't know. We have that phase too. But ours is so much worse. Sheesh. Because we're going through our phase secretly. You can go through a whole relationship with a woman thinking that she never ever cheated on you. And the whole time she was. Because when we do it, we put more effort into hiding it. You'll never find out unless we want you to. If you find out that a woman's cheating, she wanted you to know. Uh, that's why I can't yeah. stand behind that. Smart. Yeah, that ain't that, that smart. Y'all ain't that smart. Over, y'all kind of over it. Y'all kind of over it. They will start acting different mentally. Yeah, and emotionally, they can't They can't really feel connected to two, three dudes. You'll start to see them leave you more. You'll start to see them go on quote unquote trips and they won't be on trips. Mm. They'll stop sharing their location mm. with She'll you. She'll stop worrying less going out more. I don't, I don't judge women when they go through their so called hoe phase. Oh, I judge you. You so judge men too, though, right? Why would I, no, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> You just gotta go through her phone. And a lot of you niggas have too much pride to say, phone. If you, nah, that's crazy. <laughs> if you have to often go through your girl's phone, nigga, I'm not gonna lie, bro. That shows y'all she's not I'm stable. telling y'all right now, you have to go through your girl's phone. Fuck. I, see, nigga, I'm crazy. Oh. I'll look at my girl's location. Yeah. Pick a random day, cut my location. I'll drive to the location. Mm. There's no, all right, that's, all right, that's peak having nothing to do. That's peak joblessness. Yeah, like, yeah I'm not like, that's jobless that, that's behavior. That's too much free time. Yeah, that's jobless that's, behavior. That's, that's jobless too much free behavior. Time. You'll never know. You'll never know. Your girl could go on a trip and within those 10 minutes, she could have fucked the nigga and sucked the nigga's dick, come back to you and go and, and act like everything's normal. This shit's had happened before. Yeah, it sounds like, it, it, sounds, it sounds possible. Yeah, and you're right. You'll have that suspicion of, oh, she might be with this nigga. I mean, when you see the red mark on her neck, you don't know. Ooh. You don't know. She'd be like, it's a mosquito bite. Bitch, uh, I'm not stupid. <laughs> This is NFL girlfriends. We're NFL girlfriends. Of course we're going to the Super Bowl. We're NFL girlfriends. Of course we're going to the Super Bowl. Ah! I'm an NFL girlfriend. Of course I'm going to the Super Bowl. Ah! Of course we're NFL girlfriends. Of course we're going to the Super Bowl. Yes! We're NFL girlfriends. <laughs> She's super shit. Yes! We're NFL girlfriends. Of course we're going to the Super Bowl. Period! You're going to the Super Bowl, but not a wedding. <laughs> that is a hating ass comment. Damn. A lot of black women felt like these is your run of the mill black women. And this entire comment section is full of black women saying how average these women look. Or hating on the NBA for some reason. <laughs> Why the NBA? The NBA will not have not one single black girl, which is such cap, such cap. So someone said, I might have a chance. These chicks look Oh, not basic. one, not not one, one away. <laughs> See, I was joking about the wedding thing. I'm an inmate girlfriend. Of course, I'm going to visitation. Oh. She would rather get an inmate than an NFL player? <laughs> you know they do. <laughs> Obnoxious in mid, every last one of them. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I was just playing, bro. They yo, yeah, come on, come on. Bro. Yo, yo, these comments is crazy. Oh, they, they hit a lot of I these comments. I don't understand. Like, people are so invested in other people's lives. Like, like this is not that serious. Why are they doing all that? Bro, and that's what I wanted to get to. Like, y'all is mad because they have white girlfriends. Now y'all mad because the black girlfriends are quote-unquote mm -hmm. mid? Mid. That's so dumb. Can you make up your mind? You're mad if they have a BBL, so now that they don't fit the body image that y'all want, now y'all mad that they don't have a BBL? They never satisfied. You know, it's always something. You can't win. Never now it's, oh, these women are basic because they're, they're natural, no BBLs. Low key, they created the unrealistic beauty standard. Yes. When you really think about it, it's black women hating on other black women. These black women are with black men. <laughs> they're not ugly black women, they're though. I don't know why it was this much hate. They, they took a lot of the they hate out. They're mad because they're not there. They are. They the want to, they're mad because not in their position. So all the black women in this comment section 
Where your man at? Where's your man? Where your man? Where'd he go? You taller them men. And when was the last child support payment you got? In your next life, hopefully, hopefully, you'll be on the field. But right now, you're in the stands. Yeah. I'm the top one. Nosebleeds. Damn. Nosebleeds. And it's, and it's a pretty, pretty, it's a hypothesis that kind of stands, and it has biological reasons. But for, for a guy that is in a relationship to be interested in other girls, that's just cheating. But if a girl who's in a relationship becomes interested in another guy, it often means that she's not getting what she needs to get from that relationship. Really? That there is something wrong in that relationship that she's in. Really? And it doesn't always happen, but it is very common because women don't tend to cheat unless there's there's something wrong with what with the relationship they have why is she getting psychoanalyzed like this like people always think there's some grand reasons behind the cheating no oh reason. something he did oh she wasn't content in life i don't think everything some people should are have just a reason. horny and don't want to fuck other people like I, that's I, simple as that yeah i don't think i don't think everything should have a reason i think we overcomplicate things sometimes as human beings like what happened if he or she just got horny saw someone they were chatted to wanted to fuck him is that a crazy concept? It's just, always, oh, he was mentally manipulated. There's a mental thing going on. They're not content in life. Oh, he just wants to focus on the people. Yeah. It's that simple. She, I, what she said is actually right. Men do just cheat because they're horny. And women do cheat because they're emotional. But that doesn't make the emotional cheating better, bitch. That's bullshit. All, that's, of, it, all of it's dumb. That's, it, it, it doesn't, I, I, why do they have to separate? That's like, it actually might even be worse if we keep it 100. Why I did, mean, there's no worse or better in this situation. At the end of the day, once you put your pill, willy whacker into another hole, it becomes something. But why than, they got to always say the man is just, the man is horny and the woman is emotional. It moves the other way around. Nobody, nobody ever knows. Yeah, no, no. There's no scenarios where they're all the same scenarios. If you look somebody in the eyes and go, I love you. I am not cheating on you. And if she goes and put that pecker on something else, kill her. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, whoa. Wait. wait. See, what just happened? Wait, see, see, you always okay. go like, okay. bro, what? Okay. You always I'll, take it too far. I said, I said everything yeah, right. You always take it too far. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 no. I said everything right. I said everything right. No, you said. I said everything right. You trying to kill people. I said everything right. You want people dead. What just happened? I said everything right. How do I go from that to kill her? She betrayed you. So tie her up and kill her? No, tie her up is wild. What you got to do is scare her. Real seriously, we're getting serious. You got to scare her. So what you do is come home one night. She's sleeping. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's just stop. <laughs> 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 you on boost. 